Let's get into the museum before it closes down. Let's like go. Let's go. We'll make it work. Like one of the main places to see oh, is right okay. here. Yeah. So this is the direction we got to go. Right here. Right. And oh, it's 1919. Yeah. Okay. So it's after World War One. Yep. But anyway, the voice of the Korean people on March 1st, 1919, the Korean people staged a protest for their freedom against the imperialist Japanese forces. Was there like a leader who was like kind of known for galvanizing the people? Like was there a centralized person? We're gonna meet him, him or all of them in a second. Okay. How many, how long was Korea under Japan's thumb for? Like was it several centuries? I don't, it wasn't centuries. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> 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 yep. Like a lot of these are like original documents or like replicas, you know? Mm -hmm. So this guy, um, Singush Sik. Yeah. So nice this job. must have been, Jendo People's Association must have been one of the organizations that was seeking independence? Yeah. when the protests begin, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Death with the knees, with the knees, with the knees. Let <laughs> 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 me take a look, see? Wait, let me separate better. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Ooh! All right, so we saw the bread place. Uh, organizing autonomous bodies for overseas, right? So they're trying to like align themselves with America here. So it would not be then, it would yeah, be, it would be, it would be the building, building independence. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty cool. So what Japan had done is they colonized Korea, right? Yeah. And they brought women back to Japan as like sex slaves, right? Mm -hmm. So they were called comfort women. Comfort uh, women? Yeah, and so they were there to comfort the Japanese soldiers, right? That mm -hmm. makes sense. But comfort women was like a result of the colonization. Yeah. And so a lot of women got were stuck in Japan mm -hmm. or like, you know, they like Japan never apologized, it was like a, like Japan never apologized, it was like a whole mm -hmm. 지금 국내 등록된 일본군 위안부 강제징용 피해자 중에 2023년 현재 생존자가 단 아홉 분밖에 안 계시대요. They got Woodrow Wilson up in here. Yeah. So this is the Paris Peace Conference. So after World War I was wrapping up. It's incredible how we can see these historical documents that were written by somebody, made a difference in a country, and now we can like yeah. see them. You know, the preservation's quite nice, because that's tight. Depending on how 
difficult the scuffle is, like documents may not be recovered. Mm -hmm. exactly. There are societies that were perished in war that we'll never know. Chris, 